Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmatov. I have a task that tries to visit the site. But before I open Cypress browser, notice that I did not start the server. That's why it says the server is not running. So if I open the spec, it fails right away. The connection was refused. What do we do? What if our server is unreliable and sometimes goes down? Can we retry site visit? Well, you could retry you know, other commands, but if you do a visit or request, right? Unfortunately, they don't retry. You can make the site request not fail on status code, but it doesn't take into account if the connection is refused completely. It only takes care of a situation where it's like non-200 status code. So what do we do? Well, here's a way you can do this, right? Let's write a function that we will say, check status and inside that function we'll try to make a request to the server and see if it responds now normally you would make a request using fetch and if there is an error you would catch it and let's say you will return error okay or maybe a property of error so an object with an error well cypress doesn't know anything about your fetch Right, it's not of a command, so it completely ignores that there is a promise return from fetch. It starts site visit right away, doesn't wait for the fetch to return. So if you want to make Cypress aware of a promise, you use sci wrap. Okay, so you wrap the whole thing, and now Cypress will wait for this sci wrap to finish, that means for promise to finish, before visiting. And notice that we're not failing on the fetch anymore because we're handling the error, right? We're failing on the visit. So let's say we wrap fetch, then we get an object and that object might have an error property, right? So what do we have to do? We can say if error, well, we'll return check status again, right? So we recursively call ourselves if the fetch failed, but maybe not right away. Maybe let's say sci wait and then check the status. Let's wait by, I don't know, let's say three seconds. And if there is no error, right, we'll say server is okay, and then the next command will run. So this is how it works. We first try to fetch with an error, waited three seconds, was an error, then we're going to the next one. We can, you know, improve this a little bit by, for example, not logging the wrap because we don't need that. Maybe we can uh, log false the weight. So now we're just seeing the fetches reported. And here's what happens if we do start the server. Okay, boom, server is okay. And we can now visit. So uh, this is a very convenient utility. You can move it into its own little function, or you can make it part of site visit. So here's how it would work. I will overwrite the command site visit. I can say Cypress commands overwrite, and I will, I will write the visit itself. So when you override, you have original function, URL options. So let's ignore options for now. We just want to overwrite, and what we will do, we'll take everything we had so far, okay? And we probably will need to return it so that it's a single chain of commands. And, okay, so we'll check the status and if everything is good, right? Let's see, right here, if server is okay, then we'll call a regional function, which is the real visit with a URL and we'll fetch from that URL. Let's see if it works. Okay, so our server is up and running. Everything is good. We probably can get rid of this log. Okay, so imagine the server is down, right? What happens now? Okay, fail to fetch, fail to fetch. So it keeps retrying and retrying and retrying. And if we start the server, then continuous and successfully visits the site. Okay, so 
this recursion to implement something where you try the command, look at the result, and uh, if result is unsatisfactory, you try that command again. It's so common, but I have written a little utility for this. So let me start the server, stop Cypress, install my utility called Cypress Recurse. All right. Now in my spec file, I'll import recurse from Cypress Recurse. And what I will do, I'll say it visits a site. We'll call it. And here's what we'll do. We'll use that recurse, and recurse really takes two or three arguments. The first one is a function that will do the command that we want to retry. In this case, it was this whole thing, right? The whole check status up here. So we're going to take the URL, and we will fetch it, and we will turn if it's an error. Now, the second argument is a predicate. So it takes whatever the previous command returned or yielded. And so in this case, it's going to be an object with property error. And all we care is to say, if there is an error, right, then actually, no, let's say when to stop, right, when there is no error. All right. And the third optional parameter, right, well, let's just leave it as is and let's see how it runs and then we'll modify the last parameter. Visit. Okay. So right now remaining attempts 20 and it counts down and it only retries up to the maximum time limit of default command timeout. So the last argument allows you to modify, you know, how many retries, let's say 100. Uh, what's the delay between the attempts? We use three seconds before, right? And what's the, uh, actually, no. So max retry is, is called the limit and timeout, let's say 60 seconds. And let me just use the new fancy separators. Okay. So now we're fetching, right? And if there is an error, we go back to the first function and do it again. It's controlled by the limit, delay and timeout parameters. And because it's logging all the things, we can say don't log anything. Okay. Just keep it to the minimum. Okay. And at the end, after that, we can say visit. And what happens when we start the application? Wait a minute. So it's sorry about. So the comparison should be undefined because if it's, there is no error, it will be undefined, not now. Okay. So I've shown three ways of checking if a server is responding using fetch call. One, you write everything yourself. Second, you override sci visit command. So this check and retry is built in. And the third one, which I would actually prefer myself, is to use my utility Cypress Recurse to retry the commands up until the predicate returns true. And there is a variety of options you can pass to make it uh, flexible and make it work your way.